For over five decades, model railroad enthusiasts from across the Midwest have made their way to Madison, Wisconsin to immerse themselves in all things trains. This annual event showcases an impressive array of layouts representing all scales, offering a fantastic opportunity to learn the hobby, draw inspiration, and even take a train for a ride. Okay. Do they get to blow the horn and everything? Yes. Uh oh, there we go. In this video, we'll shine a spotlight on the lifeblood of this event, the Model Railroad Clubs, whose creativity and dedication bring these layouts to life. It opened at nine and it's already busy. Well, we are at the Model Railroad Show here in Madison. So part of Love Nesters, one of the things we like to do is meet people that are passionate about their hobbies and certainly model railroaders fit that bill. We also like to spend time together, but I've lost him. I have no idea where that man ran off to. But thanks for joining us today. It should be a fun day as we meet the people that make these trains happen. Uh, basis of this one is the Walters tugboat. It has been heavily reworked. Got illumination inside the. Um, Does he literally own one? In all the detailing. Most of the boats have just been added. The sunken boat on the other side has been added. Oh my goodness, look at him. Just look at him. So much detail. Yeah, well, the fishing trawler finally came in and we're offloading all the. Oh, look at that. And look at this one. Oh, yeah. Is that, a, is that a real fishing lure? Oh, yeah. That is a real fishing lure. Wow. Oh, that's so cute. Meat without feet. So they do such a nice job here with the lighting effects. And, and so much of this is scratch built. And if not scratch built, it is enhanced. <laughs> Go smoke in the bandit car right here. I'm off, 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 off. That's old school. We have a fight it sheet with our club history and stuff, but big kids and little kids love doing this thing. They'll go through it and they get a prize at the end. This was awesome. Here's our shanty towel, which is actually a real place up, I think. And this is highly detailed. Roger did most of it, but there's just a ton of details. I mean, you look at it, he's got a garage yard construction. There's actually little tools sitting there that guys are hammering. But here we got Rick's rail house, which is kind of found our base. So if you look closely, this guy's talking to this gal in the red, and his wife's behind him with the umbrella, but must be the wife. Deep, deep, deep. The sense of humor these clubs have, when you get to know them, they'll, they'll show you all the fun things. This is so cool. This is Casper the ghost, and he lights up when the train is about to come through the tunnel. So the brown ones are all 3D printed yep. and designed by yep. one guy. One guy. 
And they're only oh yeah. buy them anywhere. That they're a, they're a custom thing. Oh, that's so cool. And of cars. Isn't that neat how that's just changing with the I'm hobby? 25 years younger. Yeah, yeah. You're going to be driving your very own train. The Overland Western Lines is taking a huge risk here. Are you sure you want to take this risk, sir? Yes. You sure? I trust her. Oh, uh, she'll, be, she'll be tightly supervised. Okay, <laughs> good, okay. good. Oh my God. We, we've done no, this no, no, yes, no, don't. We don't <laughs> that okay, we just got to plug in. These aren't, these aren't wireless. Yeah, then blow the horn twice and then we'll leave. Did you just do that? I did that. You did. Up, <laughs> and, then, and then slowly turn the knob up and then we start moving. Train 5817 from the Overland Western Lines Railroad Club is today. The engineer is a Debbie from Love Nesters. Slower down. Oh, where did she go? Oh, look at. Are you, are you having fun? Oh, oh, look at. She's blowing the horn. Yeah. Our very own Debbie from Love Nesters is the engineer. Is engineer the uh, correct term? We're even using the correct term. You have. <laughs> Wait, did she pass the test, sir? The test. Oh, oh my God. I need a hat now. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Uh, done <laughs> here, it represents East Dubuque, Illinois. It's a real place, and it depicts the Burling Tunnel on the Mississippi River, which is what this is. The Illinois Central comes through the tunnel, crosses the river to go to Dubuque, Iowa. So if I drove to Dubuque, Iowa, this is exactly what I'd see. Yeah, you'd cross the river to East Dubuque, Illinois, and this is, and it would all be just like you see it here. That's incredible. The creativity here is, is such a fun part of coming to a show like this. Oh my goodness, N scale is just so tiny. Oh my goodness, I love the details. These chickens are wonderful. It's a tight squeeze. We found our friends at the Great Northern Railroad. If you're enjoying our videos, we'd sure appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for being here. in a car started out like this. And then you painted them? Well, painting is the easy part. Manipulating them to fit into the cars. And then the other thing is, I do the hairstyles, the clothing. And uh, for example, this here is the Wicked Witch of the West. Oh my gosh. This and that. That's what I start with. Oh, wow. These here are the flying monkeys. Never thought I'd make the lion. Okay. The lion to me is, how are you gonna make the lion? Well, I remember he kind of jumped out to scare Dorothy. Yeah. And my mind works a little different than other people. What do you see? A man with a hammer and a chisel, right? For sure, like he belongs on a railroad. But it is arm and leg position. Oh, so there he is, okay. That's the same figure. Oh my gosh. I mean, you, just, you paint them and move them. Well, you got to add glue, uh, tail. You notice the legs are much thicker. He's got the mane and every little feature. So the idea is to just start with something and end up with something. That <laughs> <clears throat> the antique uh, oh, antique archaeology, right. sure. 
And you have Frank, Frank and, and Mike, Mike in there. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. That is awesome. There are movie and TV references across generations. Well, look, that's Petticoat Junction. And if you look carefully, you'll see Shrek. We're with Mike Zabel, the president of Valley Model Railroad Club in South Elgin, Illinois. It is the longest continuous, continuously running club in the nation. Midwest. In the Midwest, that is incredible. And they're set up so that kids can not only drive it, but it's set up low so kids can see it. They let the kids run this. This is incredible. How many years have you been doing this? Um, this is actually my first day doing it. The Kettle Marine Ballast Scorchers out of West Bend, Wisconsin. Well, they've got the ducks going there. That's oh, cool. Oh, I didn't even catch that. There's so much to see. So this layout is neat. They've got it all darkened so you can see how the different things light up. Boy, they are constantly adjusting and adding cars. Come back multiple times, you'll see something different. So this is a Lionel train setup, and they are just zipping. Oop, one train derailment so far. This is the oldest Lionel Railroad Club in the world, right? And here we go. Watch this. We can so lift up the orange handle. Oh, li okay. Lift up the orange. <laughs> this is a great place to be. You can have some fun. So there's over 50 different buttons the kids can push to make things happen here.
the Mad City Model Railroad Show was a great place for all family members. It was great to see so many kids having fun and really enjoying all these models. They really do a nice job of trying to set up the next generation and uh, there were plenty of opportunities for kids of all ages to enjoy this show. If you are bringing young children, we do recommend if you can bring a step stool. Uh, there are very few of the layouts that are at kid level. So we were here for about three hours and we did not see everything. You could easily spend the day here. A huge thank you to all of the clubs. They were so accommodating to us, showing us the insights of this, um, the setup, as well as some of the hidden, hidden gems and Easter eggs on each of the uh, layouts. This is Northwest Traction Group. The Modular Electric Railroad and Transport Company is what they've got laid out here. So this layout, uh, we're for the European Train Enthusiast, ETE. Okay. Uh, this is supposed to represent the start of World War II in 1939 when the Germans invaded Poland. So this is a combination of a bunch of different historical pieces. We have a uh, Polish armored train. Wow. Uh, which is actually converted uh, from a line L uh, with just some uh, pieces added to it. Uh, this is supposed to represent the fortress of Modlin, which was part of the defenses of Warsaw. And it encompasses a lot of uh, models and things from a Polish company called Kobe that makes historical planes. So these are oh. all authentic uh, World War II uh, aircraft. Okay. And over here we have the German side. Oh, okay. Welcome back to Love Nesters. We are at the 2024 Mad City Railroad Exposition, highlighting model railroad clubs. And the people that make these trains run. We have had so much fun uh, meeting everyone here. For those of you that stopped by to say hello, we really appreciate it. So much fun here today. Thanks for being here.